darkness in our lives and help us clearly see. Holy Spirit, by your presence, give us strength to share. Share the message of God's word to healthy, kind, and care. Come, Holy Spirit, come be the fire that burns in our hearts. Holy Spirit, teach us wisdom, teach us right from wrong. Teach us how to love our neighbor, help us to belong. Holy Spirit, show to sing God's name, rejoice. Praise God's wonder here on earth, united with one voice. Come, Holy Spirit, come be the light that shines in our darkness. Come, Holy Spirit, come be the fire that burns in our Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everybody. You're very, very welcome. Please be seated for a moment or two, and we'll have our words of introduction and explanation about the symbols. We are gathered in prayer like the apostles at Pentecost, looking forward to receiving the Holy Spirit. We present a baptismal candle, reminding us of the gift of faith which we've received from our parents, priests, and teachers. We present the oil of chrism, which will be used today to anoint us as a sign of our being strengthened by the Holy Spirit. We present a confirmation workbook as a symbol of the preparation we've been doing to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the lovely words of welcome and telling us about those important symbols that we have today that will help us celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit coming to us in confirmation. I'm delighted to be here with you this morning. Paul Callan is my name. Delighted to join Father Paddy and Father James and the school community of St. Michael's. I'm a past pupil of St. Michael's, so it's very special to be invited and to be asked by Archbishop Farrell to come and to, to celebrate the Sacrament of Confirmation today. 
I made my own confirmation here in this church. I won't tell you what year, but Archbishop Dermot Ryan celebrated the confirmation at the time. I have very fond memories of that day and of St. Michael's. So now we begin with our penitential rite. I invite you to stand for the penitential rite as we prepare now to celebrate the sacred mysteries and prepare by calling to mind God's love and asking for forgiveness for the times we haven't loved God or loved one another. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God and on earth. Peace to people of good will. Glory to God in You alone 
Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of his glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And I invite you to be seated now, and we're going to listen to the word of God, and I'll invite those proclaiming the word and reading the scripture to come forward. Lot os Geneva hen an aspel, nor coolen a hospel of in Jerusalem, go van Samo to Esh Glocka la Buiha de. Hio sheed hucku, pada agis own. Il shock doshin hucku, winna sheed gui il son gavidish on spirit nave. My new ever on spirit tog her face, il gwinna il bit a coo. My new wife sheed ak basta in anum on tierna eesa. On shin, lag padogus own a lover ohu, agus for sheed on spirit nave. Shin a bui her day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. It was at this time that Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. No sooner had he come up out of the water than he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit like a dove descending on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, the beloved. My favor rests on you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord you. Jesus Christ. Today is a day of thanksgiving. It's good to, to be together, it's good to celebrate, and it's good to mark this milestone in the lives of those from sixth class. After all the preparation that Miss Heslin referred to before Mass, at home, at school, and in the wider context of the school community and parish communities that we all belong to. A special day like today gives us the opportunity to, to pause, to stand back and to reflect and to think about the greater scheme of things and to leave the problems of each day alone for a little while. On the one hand, we are living in a world that has become very volatile. When we look around, we can see war and hunger and poverty and climate change and even, even democracies are being undermined around the world. But on the other hand, despite all the difficulties and challenges, Christians believe that each one of us holds a light within that no darkness can ever overwhelm or overpower. We, as Christians, with Jesus as our focus and our role model and our hope and our inspiration, believe the potential for good within each one of us and within humanity is beyond measure. Whatever it is I understand about the Holy Spirit, I believe that the Holy Spirit is the great gift that helps us to unleash the great potential, and often hidden potential, within each and every one of us. I was delighted to visit the confirmation classes during the week, and we had an interesting discussion on gifts I was delighted to hear about giftedness taking so many different shapes and forms, such as art, languages, kindness, sport, listening, understanding, music thinking of others, and that list goes on. And you know, in a world that can sometimes be very self-centered and self-focused, it was wonderful to hear such an appreciation for the variety of gifts and giftedness of others, not just our own, but of others, and how together that giftedness is just waiting to be shared and to be released. A few years ago, I had the great privilege of visiting the great artist and sculptor, 
Imogen Stewart. Imogen died recently. I, I was delighted to go and visit her in her home and in her workshop in Sandy Cove. And it made me all the more interested shortly after Christmas and early in the new year to watch the documentary about her life and about her work. And I was very struck in that documentary when she said that when she works, she often feels as if another spirit or force is at work within her, helping her to shape and to form whatever piece of art or sculpture she's working on at that particular time. And that struck a bell for me. It spoke to me about the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And, you know, I think for me, the gift of the Holy Spirit is both powerful and gentle, only waiting for the opportunity to work in and through each one of us. And that's why our prayer today for the confirmation candidates, sponsors, parents, families, teachers, neighbours, friends, communities, parish and school is simply this. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. We're asking the Holy Spirit to work powerfully through the candidates today for confirmation and to release the great potential that is within each one of them for great good in this life and in this world for themselves, for others, and for humanity. And you know, when, when you think about it, perhaps in the confirmation class of 2024, perhaps within this class, there's the, the next youngest Thishak. Perhaps, perhaps there's a great negotiator or peacemaker. Perhaps there's someone who will solve the great challenge of poverty and hunger in our world. Those of you in sixth class, do you know, perhaps there's someone among you, someone you least expect, that will surprise you in the course of the years to come. Perhaps someone among you will find a solution to one of the great world problems that baffles us and overwhelms us today and concerns us today. But there's one thing for sure about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will always surprise us. So when we welcome the Holy Spirit, be prepared to be surprised. Not necessarily today or tomorrow, but maybe when you least expect it. And so our prayer today for all of those to be confirmed with the gift of the Holy Spirit is come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. In Anna Manahar, Augustan Vic, Augustan Spirit Nave. Amen. And so we, we begin the rite of the celebration of the Sacrament of Confirmation by the renewal of baptism promises. So I invite the candidates alone to stand. At baptism, on your behalf, parents and godparents, made your commitment to God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And now you're going to take on the role and the responsibility and to make those commitments for yourselves. So now I invite you as parents and teachers and family and friends pray for you quietly in their own hearts. I invite you now to renew your baptism promises. Do you renounce Satan? 
and all his works and all his empty promises. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost and is today given to you sacramentally in confirmation? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. So the boys remain standing and Perhaps the rest of us might kneel now to pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit. My dear friends, in baptism, God our Father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters. Let us pray to our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen these, his sons with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. And so now we pray in silence. And so Father Paddy and myself will join together now, extend our hands and pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so if you'd like to be seated now, we come to the very special part of the ceremony with the individual anointing with the oil of chrism. And so we'll be guided by Miss Heslin and the teachers as you come forward with, together with your sponsor. I'll say the words, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and you'll respond, Amen. And then the greeting that always comes with the Holy Spirit, the gift of peace, I'll say, peace be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Yeah. 
welcome in this place. Behold the world's amazing grace. All are welcome. All are welcome. Bring your hopes, bring your dreams. Mercy flows and love redeems. All are
I invite you to stand now for the prayer of the faithful. So I invite those reading the prayers, if you'd like to come forward, and we'll pray together. On this day, this special day, we put into words as best we can our hopes, our thoughts, our prayers, our wishes, our needs, and so together we pray. As our helper and our guide, the Holy Spirit always helps us to pray. With confidence, then, we bring our needs and the needs of God's family, the Church throughout the world before the Lord. We meet our son Nahagasha, Augus our son, our Bob Francis, Augus our Nas Big Dermot. Grev on Augus, Egoni Dilish, Gahuskel Priest. Suskel, Lias, Augustokus. Ahirna Aislin. Gwee Mish Urhushud, a will curb poibly erhu. Gase who shared er son on Kurt, August er son the shea corner. A herna Aislin. A herna be cancer of We meet our son, our Dishmahori. Go gwiddy shed lin, two a clushel, August two a glake urn, con sail lone, let on spiroid a cough. A hear na aishlin. A hear na be cancer, as We pray for peace throughout the world and especially in Ukraine and Gaza. May those engaged in violence. <coughs> Turn their hearts and minds to peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all the teachers in our school, especially Miss Mullen, Mr. O'Neill, Mr. Moore, and Mrs. Tuberty, who have prepared us for this, our confirmation day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the souls of all our departed relatives and friends. Grant all who have died eternal rest in the kingdom of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. And we pray for a few moments now in silence for our own particular needs and intentions. God our Father, in your loving kindness, listen to our prayers. May the life-giving work of the Holy Spirit, which began at the first Pentecost, continue to grow in the hearts of those confirmed here today, and in the hearts of all of us who believe. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And if you'd like to be seated now, we'll have our offertory hymn, and we'll present gifts of bread and wine tokens of thanks to God for all we have received.
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord is the sacrifice of your hands and praise the glory of his name for our good and all this church. Pour out upon these gifts your blessing, O Lord, we pray, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we stand. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God our Father, you have brought us here together so that we can give you thanks and praise for all the wonderful things you have done. We thank you for all that is beautiful in the world and for the happiness you have given us. We praise you for daylight and for your word, which lights up our minds. We praise you for the earth and for people who live in it and for our life, which comes from you. We know you are good. You love us and do great things for us. Father, you are always thinking about your people. You never forget us. You sent your son, Jesus, who gave his life for us and who came to save us. He cured sick people. He cared for those who were poor and wept with those who were sad. He forgave sinners and taught us to forgive each other. He loved everyone and showed us how to be kind. He took children in his arms and he blessed them. God our Father, all over the world people praise you. So now we pray with the whole church with Francis, our Pope, Dermot, our Bishop. In heaven, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Apostles, and all the saints always sing your praise. Now we join with them and with the angels to adore you as we pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so we kneel. God our Father, you are most holy, and we want to show you that we are grateful. We bring you bread and wine and ask you to send your Holy Spirit to make these gifts the body and blood of your Son. Then we can offer to you what you have given to us. On the night before he died, Jesus was having supper with his apostles. He took the bread from the table. He gave you thanks and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his friends, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Then he said to them, do this, in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Father, because you love us, you invite us to come to your table. Fill us with the joy of the Holy Spirit as we receive the body and blood of your Son. Lord, you never forget any of your children. We ask you to take care of those we love, especially those for whom we now pray, and we pray for those who have died. Remember everyone who is suffering from pain or sorrow. Remember Christians everywhere and all other people in the world. We are filled with wonder and praise when we see what you do for us through Jesus Christ, your Son. And so we sing. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and Together, let us stand now and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Or nahar, a thornia, nay for them, the dog of the rear, nay to the hall or a tallow, or our nay there now, or the roll of the wood, through doing in you. August Matu and Kurvika are a wahmi, and they could have fame. August Nalikshin, God, or Sershin, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. One of the first gifts that the Spirit brings is peace. Let us pray together for peace. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with some gesture now, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And we kneel now in preparation for Holy Communion. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
time to say goodbye. In all things, God is here, always guiding your way.
Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. If you'd like to be seated just for, for two minutes, no more. Just to, as we come to the end of the sacrament of confirmation and the celebration of Mass on this special occasion, just a few very brief, very brief thank yous. First of all to Father James Hurley, the parish priest, and to all in Merrion Road Parish. As always, any time I'm here, and I know any time the school is here, Father James makes everybody feel very, very welcome and looks after us extremely well. And not just Father James, but there's a team behind. Often, if I'm visiting in St. Vincent's Hospital, I might park here and I might come in afterwards and light a candle or to say a prayer. And it is a warm, hospitable, welcoming place. So thanks to, to Father James Hurley and to all here in Merrion Road Church. I'd also like to thank Father Paddy Moran, the school chaplain. I'm delighted to join with Paddy today in celebrating this confirmation mass. And Paddy has a, a very special role to play, to listen, to support, to help, to help in the spiritual development of all those who come to St. Michael's. And you know, it's a wonderful connection with the, with the spirit and order as well. Uh, the Spiritans and their work worldwide, uh, bringing education uh, to those in poorer parts of the world, helping to provide water and shelter and homes and schools, and particularly education throughout the world. So Paddy, Paddy offers so much to each and every one and is always, always on hand to help and to serve. So, so thank you sincerely, Father Paddy. I also want to say, wasn't the music wonderful? Yeah. And weren't all the, the singers equally wonderful as well, and the choir, and... And I suppose special thanks to Kate Massey and to Denise Kelly. So they did a wonderful job coordinating and bringing everybody together and keeping us all in tune. So thank you, thank you sincerely. As I mentioned earlier, I had the, the wonderful opportunity to go and visit the school and it was, it was a wonderful experience. I was delighted to meet the classes and delighted to meet the teachers, Miss Claire Mullen, Mr. Darren O'Neill, and Mr. Donna Moore, and also uh, Mrs. Tatia Tuberty as well, classroom assistant, special needs and classroom assistant. So just want to thank all of them for their welcome and for the work that they do and for their dedication uh, to, to one and to all. I always get a great welcome when I visit St. Michael's and always delighted to visit. And I want to thank Miss Lorna Heslan for the welcome. Do you know the principal sets the tone, creates the atmosphere and coordinates the needs of everyone, pupils, teachers, parents, family and wider school community. And I was so delighted to be shown the new science room and the new hall and the new art room, all taking huge amount of work and effort to make sure that they come together and to happen. And the one person who coordinates all is Lorna Heslin. So thank you, Lorna, for all. Now, my two minutes are up. So thank you to one and all, and especially to anybody whom I've forgotten. And you usually forget an important person, don't you? And people work so hard behind the scenes, in the parish, in the school, at home, everywhere. And so a big thank you to, to one and all. And finally, the candidates, those who were confirmed, stand up for a moment. Didn't they do well?
And remember that lovely prayer, three words, come Holy Spirit, that you can say any time, in any place, in any way. And you know, if you're ever passing Marion Road Church, do drop in and light a candle or say a prayer and pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the one thing about the Holy Spirit, when we call upon the Holy Spirit, always prepared to be surprised. So I hope in your lives, in your times, that the Holy Spirit will empower you to help you to reach your full potential, that great potential that is within all of us, and that you'll be pleasantly and happily surprised by the Holy Spirit. So congratulations once again, one and all. Thank you very, very much. So let's all stand now together for the final prayer and final blessing upon us. The Lord be with you. May God the Father Almighty bless you, whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters reborn from water and the Holy Spirit, and may he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. May his only begotten Son, who promised that the Spirit of Truth would abide in his Church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit, who enkindles the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the Kingdom of God. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. What a beautiful ceremony and uh, we have 